Sing one, two, three. That's the audio mix. Maybe I turned down the game audio just a smidge. It is a little loud, I think. Let's, let's go right about here. I don't want to cut it down too much. Ah, uh, these decisions. Test, test, one, two, three. Okay. I think this is good enough for right now. Anyway. My name is Waken Cloud. I go by Awakened or Cloud also. And this is Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, the trilogy. We are playing through the first game right now. We are on case four, which is, okay, this is kind of a long and convoluted thing. This game was originally a Game Boy Advance game, which had four cases. When they ported it over to the DS and released it in America, they added a bonus case. The bonus case is super long. It's literally almost the entire length of the rest of the game. So I don't plan on doing that immediately. So I'll probably have another Phoenix Wright, I guess, series later down the line. We're just gonna try to get through the first four cases for right now in season one and um, go from there. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started on case four. One of my favorite cases of the Ace Attorney trilogy. Turn about goodbyes. Also, this music already? It's been what? 15 years? About that? Yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered. But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last. I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. Such a good line. <laughs> Yo, plop, Merry Christmas. That's our boy Edgeworth, our main prosecutor slash rival. December 25th, right in Co Law Offices. Hey, hey Nick, do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick, isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been slacking off lately. Sorry, had to adjust my phone. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something like that? Good idea. So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news. A large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy, and the tip of the local hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though its namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gory, Gordy is a real deal. Boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea, Nick! Apparently, Bay Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences, strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. 
A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department reveal that the suspect's name is Miles Edworth, age 24. Edworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor, known for his connections and skills. He was guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Yike. Maya? The fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect. In a murder. What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? I, I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Okay. So we gotta go to the detention center first. You know, Nick, we've all, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to many people. Ah. Hey, Edgeworth, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So, you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad or burst into tears. Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time we can spend it down here coming to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this either. Believe me. Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh, we're going to help you, that's what. Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure, you got lucky in one all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick? Why am I the only one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Late last night. The lake is a long way a long way away from your offices and the courthouses. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth, you... you didn't really... Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll... tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? You want my nice attorney badge? Your attorney's badge? Edgeworth. Let me defend you. <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every, deten every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it may be my fault if they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, 
I don't want you involved in, in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Yes, we've talked to him and... Okay, did you do it? Edgeworth, this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? Nick is trying to help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look. Just go away. And leave me alone. Nick. Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya. Let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... Alright, we're off to Gorda Lake. This is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal? There's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot! The trail's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But, sir, there aren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who- Shut up! Just you try saying something like that again. I'll- I'll- I'll make you sorry if you do. So just- Just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruit. Pit. Uh. Hey. hey, you're that hairy guy. Hairy butts. Right. Phoenix Wright. Will, will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Oh, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Edgeworth hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, y you don't say. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. R right. Who cares what the witness says? I care. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taught taking the investigation seriously. Oh no. After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has done to us, hard to imagine that no one else is standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost, your reputation beats sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, Pat. Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him, too. Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I... I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? what? That doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, right, right. Over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. <laughs> Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe? Do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow. 
Okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds Lawyer. Head in the... Huh? Never mind. I'll tell you. It happened last night, around 15 minutes after, the, after midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In the boat, there were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? The cop who arrived on the scene arrested. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Who was this witness? Er, sorry, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only one? Was there only that one witness? Yep. It was pretty cold out in the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're in here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today, I'd forgotten. What are you gonna, what are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What, found something? Um, no sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I, I gotta go. Any last thing you want to ask me about before I head back? You're not coming back, Detective? Er, um, probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, oh, right. Here. I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Alright, so we got Detective's directions to the precinct. Oh, hey! Detective Gumshoe! W what Um, we'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right. Now let's get investigating. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to Gord Public Beach. Wowzers. This is Gord Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. Kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Someone left poppers here. You know, pull the string, and it goes pop. Yeah. I know the ones. You see them around New Year's. Hey, Nick. They might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and take them. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh. Where'd they go? Into my pocket. Okay. Trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. Huh. I almost didn't see that signpost. Left. Boat docks. Right. Exit. A hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas friends looked a little half-baked. The banner reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Wow. Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Say Nick. 
Why is it called Gourd Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa. No way. I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually. But that's just a co coincidence. Oh. Okay. I don't think there's anything here. Let's go to the woods. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. This camera looks like... This camera has a mic and sort of... Some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool. Let's try it out. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. D don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices? Well... Well, what then? These things? The party poppers? Well... It responded. Yeah! Hey, you! Get your hands off of that! What in the Sam Hill? Look at what you done! There goes a whole roll of film. Uh, what? Huh? S sorry. Sorry's nice, but don't pay my bills. Y'all know how much a roll of film costs? I I'll pay you back. What were y'all thinking sending off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some comfortable bumpkin. Yeah, I know what y'all yanks think. I say, those southern folks talk with their exaggerated drawl. Why they must be dumb? Well, let me tell you. Just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. That Nick, help. And who, who are you now? Your chaperone? Yeah, uh, well, no, rather, uh, well, we're, we're sort of friends? Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for bejesus' sake. God. I'd rather sit through one of Papa's drawls than listen to y'all stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really, really sorry. Man, Lotta's voice is taking a lot out of me. Um... What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Um, what? Can't you see I'm changing the roll of film on my camera here? Alright, this is the same line of dialogue. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Okay. I'm 99% sure none of this is it. Let me go ahead and present my attorney's badge. I, er, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Uh, I'm a lawyer. Wh what Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Because I'll have y'all know, I'm a fighter and I've wrestled mere looking things in you. 
No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating the murder that took place on place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say something like that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You two, y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya go? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed, the, the culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can talk yank for you if, <laughs> if it pleases you. Thanks. I, I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada. Lada Hart. But y'all can call me Lada. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. So, what is it you do, Lada? Huh? Me? <laughs> Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat. Nick, she's a research study at the university, Country U. Uh, so I hear. So when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? D didn't I tell you that already? Meteors, yep. Meteor showers. Falling stars. Oh yeah. When was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. Hmm. It happened late in the night of Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I've seen when. Let's see how old Lotta is. I don't know. She's 22, so she's only one year older than... No, okay. She's one year younger than Nick. I think Edward's 24, Nick is 23. So on and so forth. That's quite a camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German-made. A genuine Solagen. Isn't that where they make knives? Uh... So what's that device you have stuck in- stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Your camera went off all by itself when I fired the party popper. Oh, that? That mic triggers when the shutter, um, whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat. So, that begs a big question. If she was looking for meteor showers, I'm pretty sure meteor showers don't make loud noises. So she's lying to us, we already know. Lada? Yeah? So your camera, it triggers on explosion noises? Yup. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey, y'all look pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once, don't remember if there was anything on them though. But what if I got some? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! I'll go check the film. Y'all come back now, you hear? She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Okay, we still need to check out the boathouse.
Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats. I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go on one after the trial's finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. This is closed, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. Perfect. So, I think the move here is to go to the detention, not the detention center, but the criminal affairs department. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in, his, in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal. Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting. For better or for worse, I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. So, how did the meeting go? I can't really tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. It's true. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd do something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? Do they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial starting tomorrow is scheduled. I see. Um, hey. In the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Y yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe, how come you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? Well, I think that was obvious. He got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See? Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust, and you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. All right, we got a, we got the latest autopsy report from our understanding. No shenanigans in court about the autopsy. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face. Someone you know? I, I don't know. I just have this feeling that I've met him somewhere a long time ago. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. Okay. Time of death, sometime on the 24th or 25th. Pause. One bullet shot to the heart. These are the detective's desk. There are computers and files on each one. Funny. They're a lot tidier than I'd expect. I guess the detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desk. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Oh, Blake. Already cited? I don't believe it. Couldn't you be reading something more important? Hey. 
Is that the pe is that the police detectives uh the police department? God, words are hard. The police department's mascot. That's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. I'll get him assigned mascot of the criminal affairs department. It's the last thing I do. Um, good luck. Okay. That must be the one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. All right. Hands against the wall. All of you. Don't even think about escaping. I got eyes in the back of my head. He must do it. He must be doing image training for the arrest. Okay, I don't think there's anything here. I'll present my attorney badge just in case. Nope. Let's go check on Lada again. I think that's the move. We go to here. Hey, y'all. Lada. Wait up, say. We got bingo. Bingo? My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey. This is them. Take a look. Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with a pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah. Well, there was enough fog out there last night to strangle a bullfrog. But you know, seeing these clothes reminded me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Are you serious? Of course. Hmm. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go just trying to mock my accents. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I'm off to talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later. Wait, Lotta. What? Can't y'all see I'm busy? D tell us what you saw too, please. Nice try, honey. But I wasn't born yesterday. I'm a witness. That means I'm on the side of justice. And that means the cops. I'd sooner eat the south side of my northbound skunk than tell you. L Lotta? Ooh, don't get your skivvies in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was that the other way around? No, no matter. I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll let me do some testifying. Hot dog. That accent. She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, he was. if she saw something, there's not much we can do about it. Question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we'll find out in trial tomorrow. I guess it's time to go back to Edgeworth. Wait, no, there's more. There's more. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! Ah. N Nick! I think Santa's mad at you. Long time no see, Nick. Nick? You know Santa? Wow, Nick and Saint Nick. Hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. Larry, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs, want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know. My girl, Kianse, deserves the best. Kianse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kianse's a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. 
He was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? If you bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a Santa costume. He must be really nice. Whoa, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your, not my, what? No, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faye. I'm, uh, the little sister. Sister? Wow, Nick. Must be tough. Working 9 to 5, having to take care of a little sister? N no, I'm not Nick's little sister. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh. Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. He's not listening. Okay. Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Keonse, obviously. He wouldn't have been standing out here in the cold. Oof. I think what you just said caught him off guard, Maya. No, no, it's just... Keonse's not in town right now. She... She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model. I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. The trial's tomorrow. Huh. Neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Uh, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that, Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. W whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? So, Mr. Edgeworth was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Studying all the time, Trying to be like father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow. Wait. You said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second. But Mr. Edgeworth is a prosecuting attorney. What? Edgy's got a pros proboscis on his knee? No, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh? Go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and on about man's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changed his mind, though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Um, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs. Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look like gourds. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like, guard dogs? Ouch. The samurai thing was Keonse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. He was all, change the name and you go, girlfriend. He made that banner. Man, the kids can't get enough of these samurai dogs. Er, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What, with all the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. Gordy? This is about Gordy. Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? It's here in this very lake, a giant mysterious monster. Gordy. A, a monster? Yeah. Check it out. This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo. 
Wow, it, it's really real. This music right now. Wait for it. Man, it's so good. Nick, a monster. A real monster. Um, yeah. Probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from a person who took the photo. Hmm, what's this? I set the camera to automatic, and when we go into frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion, followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound in, like, an explosion? Larry, could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Alright. Let's... I don't think anything's changed here. Let's go back to Edgeworth now. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I remember now. This guy, he's a lawyer that was, he's a lawyer that was at the office that Maya worked at. I met him once when I was there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait, you mean Grossberg's, Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for old time's sake. Alright, Grossberg is in the mix. Second. I got confused for a second. <clears throat> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha! Uh -huh. You're Mia's something, are you not? I was her understudy, yes. Phoenix Wright. Aha! Uh -huh. And you, you're Mia's something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look a lot like her and your sister. You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah. The days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir? Hmm? Uh, yes, I, I beg your pardon. Of course, you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something the matter? Hmm. Strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Oh! D did you remember? He was a lawyer here, in my office. That's Hammond, Robert Hammond. Mr. Hammond? And you say this man is mild... Is, this is the man that mild to Edgeworth shot. Who is this Hammond guy anyway? Mr. Hammond. He was the defense attorney in this case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6. Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial of Mia's murder. That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used the spirit medium. Wait. You don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. That spirit medium, Misty Faye, your mother contacted the spirit of the victim. But, the case was a loss. No conviction was made. 
The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Faye used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to the charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blame my mother. Calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Er, y yes Yes, quite. Thank you. N no please don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait. What does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was no none other than his father. Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait. This is a photograph of my mother. Alright, it's time to talk to Edgeworth. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten the message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? It's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Edgeworth, it's only been a matter of hours since you last visited. You've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right. DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That is why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the, your do up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a def I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested, a man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gord Lake murder? Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now... This. About to end. The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago. On December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations on the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick? What does that mean? When the case's statute of, of limitation runs out, legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. 
He was quite a famous... He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps. I'd rather not talk about it. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in a, such a big case. Your attorney's badge. I can't say I really want to see one of those right now. I'm sorry. I can't think of anything I want to say about that. Hm. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the type to point a gun at somebody, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know. You want us to defend you. Yes. Will you? Uh. Who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back. For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you really didn't need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we should... What? What's that? Earthquake! Nick! It's a big one! What? It's calming down. That was scary. Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There. He's on the floor in a ball, shivering. I guess he doesn't do well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up into a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We have to get Edgeworth's letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. What's going on here? Yeesh. What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago. Says she came to talk to y'all after hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of heart. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death, death sentence, pal? No, not at all. Just, I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Or, you're trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. All right. Let's go ahead and present. Also, let me check my uptime real quick. One hour and 51 seconds, so just over an hour. Look what I got. Hey, you did it, pal. Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty used to him by now. Oh. I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mentioned it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to go check on him. You two eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. Hmm. 
I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of them when we were in school. Then again, I only really got to know him in fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. To be continued. I'm gonna get partway into this, um, courtroom phase. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it because I have to wake up early tomorrow and probably have to go to bed in about 30, 45 minutes, but we're just gonna make some progress. I'm gonna go get some water because I'm getting lightheaded again. Okay. You know what? I think we're actually going to call it for the night. I don't want to get any more lightheaded than I am. And this will give us a good point to start up next time. So we're going to call it for now. Thank you for tuning in. I will be back probably tomorrow, no promises. And if not tomorrow, definitely Saturday. Hope you guys have a good evening and take care.